Hey, this is Janet Jackson with another idea for those of you who have ever sat in your office and thought, oh my gosh, there has got to be a better way. If you have ever copied and pasted something, chances are you will like this aha. Specifically, this is for when you copy and paste something with different formatting or from a different source altogether. So you've been there, you copy or paste something and then you have to fuss with the formatting to get it to match where you've pasted it. So for example, if I want to copy my company name into a new Word document, it kept the same formatting which might be great, but when it's not great, it's a real pain and a frustration to have to reset your formatting so it matches. So this solution is going to help you not have to fuss with so much formatting and just keep the text that you've copied. So we'll copy this one more time. I will show you and we're going to paste this into a pre setup document here. This says this is the first sample of pasting text and quickly getting it to match my formatting. We're going to just nestle my business name right in there. Pasting text. I'm going to now go ahead and paste it because I'm a keyboard shortcut junkie. I'm using my keyboard shortcut control V for that. And sure enough, it is pasting in my company name, keeping all that formatting. But that's not what I want. I really want it to match the format that I'm pasting it into. So before doing anything else, you're going to want to look for this little paste options guy. Click on that drop down arrow, choose the last option. I've never not seen it be the last option. It stands for keep text only. I click on it and it drops the formatting it copied so that it inserts and, and uses the formatting that you have going in that document. So again, it was just copying and pasting and using this to choose the one that's A, that, that's got an A on it. The great thing is this works across all of Microsoft Office. So if I wanted to paste my company name into an Excel file, I can click on that. I'm going to come here. I've got a cell selected. Let's paste it right here in F3. This time I'll use my ribbon. I'm going to click paste. And again, it keeps the source formatting from Word. I don't want that, so I'm going to click on the drop down arrow. And this time, instead of there being a word with an A, we're just going to click the, the lines, which says match destination formatting. And it drops all that formatting that it copied in and keeps only the text. So to show it to you, going from Excel to Word, so here I've got a list of my, my main buckets of my content catalog. I've got them listed here in Excel. I want to paste those into a Word document. I'm going to select my list. I'm going to copy it in whatever mode you prefer to copy things. I'm going to go into a Word document. I have set this one up so that I've got like a little placeholder there for content catalog. I'm going to press enter to go below that. And I am going to paste that list I don't want it pasted as a table. I just want the words. Again, drop down arrow. I'm going to choose A. And now it has retained the formatting from what I had pasted it into. So in this case, because I pressed enter after the catalog and that was bolded, that's what it remembered. Now I can select it and just turn off the bolding. I don't have to change font size, font style, or font color, anything else. I just maybe wanted to turn that bold off. I'm going to paste that same list here showing you how if I've already got a bulleted list started and I want to paste into that list, I can just click in that where, you know, where my bullets are. I'm going to paste. It pasted it as a table again because that's what it does when Excel pastes into Word. It will paste in as a table. If I don't want that, click the drop down arrow, choose A, and now it pasted into the formatting I had set up in that list. It was bulleted, it was not bolded, all of that. So again, this works whether you're going from Outlook to Word, PowerPoint to Excel, whatever, whatever way you may be copying and pasting your things. The other thing it will do is if you need to copy something from the internet, and of course you're not going to copy it 
uh, and break any copyright laws or anything like that. But maybe there's some information. Maybe, maybe, you know, because I can, I can take and copy things from my websites because I own my websites. Maybe you have seen this great information about a session that you want to copy or a conference that's coming up or just a tip from something. You can copy that text. Again, don't break any laws. I can copy this text. I can go into Word. I can come over here and I can hit paste and it is going to paste it keeping the formatting that was on that website. If that's what I if that's not what I want, again, I can use this drop down arrow, choose A, and it will pick up the formatting that I had already set up in this in this Word document or wherever you're pasting it. And now you can apply more formatting if you want to tweak it up to be what you want it to do, but it removes all that effort of removing formatting when you're copying it from a source location into a, a new space with different formatting. So I hope that helps. And if it does, be sure and like this video. And if it's absolutely a game changer for you, then I'd love for you to leave a comment. And as always, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel or sign up for my newsletter so you can get these tips delivered directly to your inbox. Thanks again for watching. I do hope it helps.